So I have a job interview today. I'm a behavior analyst for those of you who don't know. I'm nervous. I'm not nervous about like interviewing, but just, I don't know. I have ADHD transitions. Transitions are hard. I don't like them. I mean, for example, just getting ready for this thing, transitioning from showering from the bed first. Y'all are so smoothy. To checking on the bunnies. Take a look at my floofsters. To getting dressed. So the amount of effort it like, the transition between jobs is so much. It's exhausting. You know, when you're a high functioning person with ADHD, people don't see or understand that you need accommodations. And I've only known that I have ADHD for five years. skills, uh, patience with my lack of time management skills, you to tell me all the time every day what I'm doing that's awesome and you appreciate. I also need constructive feedback because if you don't give me constructive feedback, I just assume that I'm doing everything wrong. The worst is when they're like, oh, you tell me what you need. Can we not put the burden of accommodations on the employee? You should be asking yourself how I make my workplace accessible to everybody, to people of different races, gender, sexual orientations, people with neurodiversities. Right now, employers are all trying to figure out what they can do to make people of different races feel more included in the workplace. And that's important. From my perspective, as someone who's minority in several different ways. I'm a woman, I'm bi, I identify as neurodiverse. Something that signals a safe and appropriate workplace to me is a workplace that puts effort into making all sorts of people feel included and making their workplace accessible to all sorts of people. Because, you know, people of color also have different sexualities and genders and neurodiversities. And so if you're just making your workplace accessible to cis, hetero, neurotypical people of color. You're not making your workplace accessible to people of color, you know? So like, do better. Okay, well, what do you think? I'm gonna diffuse this hair a little bit more than the ones I'm doing will be. But I guess things that I kind of look for in a job interview that signal to me that a place is gonna be an inclusive work environment is, you know, flexibility and also structure. I know that sounds so weird, but welcome to the life of someone with ADHD. I guess less structure and more like clarity of expectations. Like I need to know exactly what you want me to do and then give me the flexibility and autonomy to execute that in the way that works best for me. Micromanagement is someone with ADHD's worst nightmares. I look for a good PTO package or flex time policy, something like that, that just lets me know that on those days when my mental health won't allow it, that I, I'll be okay. Um, and I can, you know, reschedule things or take a day off as needed so that I can take care of myself. Another thing that I look for is a very structured, like mentoring or feedback or supervision type system. Now, annual reviews. Why are companies still doing annual reviews? So like, tell a little bit about principles of, of behavior. The things that increase the behaviors you wanna see are reinforcing them as soon as possible. And same for decreasing behaviors you don't wanna see is giving that constructive and instructive feedback as soon as possible. So like if I have an annual review, and you're talking to me about something I did a year ago, first of all, I'm not gonna even remember that because memory issues is a big thing with ADHD as well. 
And I was like, just a human being. Like, how many of you remember what you did a year ago? All right, we're all settled in. Let's uh, figure out how to do this interview. interview. This interview this morning is not actually an interview. It's like a video where you like record yourself answering questions. Okay, so I'm gonna do this practice. Oh God, that lighting is terrible. Why is that so terrible? Just gonna do it on my phone, but wait, what? It says can't record media, unsupported browser. It doesn't seem to like my phone. All right, so now I'm actually going to do this interview. Mm. You know what? I ate food, so I touched this bad boy up. Okay, so it gives me 30 seconds to describe my experience working with adults and children with disabilities. I've got nine years of experience in 30 seconds. Let's go. So our college about with other that was so short and not encompassing of my experience. I have never done an interview this way and I'm going to record each of these videos like five times. This is so stressful. Can y'all hear this rabbit going to town on his water bottle? It's really killing my videos on this interview. Oh my god, y'all. That took forever. I'm exhausted.